Well, for those who question the proposed pay raise for Inyo County Sheriff Bill Lutz, Sierra Wave Media's Bennett Kessler contacted the sheriff who offered a response. Sheriff Lutz explained that the Deputy Sheriff's Association and the Law Enforcement Administrators, Administrators Association have received what are called certificates, which equal a 5% pay raise upon completion of certain training and education. His officers, through their agreements with Inyo County, have received these pay increases, and some officers made as much or close to the salary of the sheriff. The ordinance approved by the Inyo supervisor raises the sheriff's compensation by those raises offered to other officers. The raise approved took the sheriff's monthly salary from $8,559 to $10,699. The last pay raise for the Inyo sheriff's position took place in the 1990s. Sheriff Lutz said his pay still lags behind a number of small counties. He also noted that he is responsible for roughly 125 employees and volunteers, the Sheriff's Department, the jail, the Emergency Services Division, as well as Veterans Services and Animal Control. Now, other county department heads salaries with no pay hikes were listed in the agenda item, which referred to an ordinance that includes official salaries but not the pay of the Board of Supervisors. The Lutz pay raise was set for a final vote tomorrow, Tuesday, and there's a two-step process on approval of ordinances, presenting it, and then finally voting on it. Now, in that item, a table lists department heads monthly salaries as of July 18th, 2013, the county assessor, $7,431. The auditor controller, $8,174. The clerk recorder, $6,955. The coroner, $2,000. The district attorney, $9,807. Public administrator, $5,017. The sheriff, $10,699, and the treasurer tax collector, $7,431. Now, the again, let's pay raise was set for a final vote on Tuesday. It's a two-step process, approving of ordinances, presenting it, and then again, finally voting on it. Well, the 10th Annual Cancer Outreach Golf Tournament, sponsored by the Health Care of Mammoth Lakes, takes place Friday at Sierra Star Golf Course. Bill Lefevre talked with Bubby Green. He's the fund development coordinator at Mammoth Hospital about the popular event. Friday, June 21st, um, the Healthcare Trust and Mammoth Hospital will be hosting the 10th Annual Cancer Outreach Golf Tournament, which is held at Sierra Star. Uh, fortunately for us, but unfortunately for some people that haven't registered, the golf tournament uh, has sold out. But uh, it being the 10th anniversary, we have uh, added a after tournament banquet, which is going to be held at Eagle Lodge, which is on the Juniper Springs uh, property um, slope side. Um, that's still uh, available at $60 a person. Um, it's going to be a great event. There's going to be a silent auction, um, great food choices, a dessert bar, dance floor, as well as a DJ. So um, if uh, anyone's interested in, in, in supporting and donating that way, non-golfers uh, definitely would encourage you to attend the after tournament banquet at Eagle Lodge. Um, you can contact myself, uh, Bubby Green, and you can do that by calling 760-924-4128. Uh, or if you just want more information about it, you can go to our website at www.mammothhospital.com. And Bubby, this, uh, the Healthcare Trust of Mammoth Lakes and Mammoth Hospital is cancer outreach program. Benefits, obviously, cancer research. Um, it does research. Uh, what, the, what it really does, um, for the most part, is, is there services that we, we can't offer here at Mammoth Hospital. And so what, when local cancer patients have to go outside of the area to seek treatment uh, for services that we don't offer, this, the Cancer Outreach Program uh, helps them with their travel, uh, lodging, and food uh, when they have to go to these appointments um, out of town. Well, we thank Bill Lefevre and Bubby Green for that. If you would like more information about helping to benefit local cancer patients, contact Mammoth Hospital at 760-934-3311 and ask for Bubby Green. We'll be back with a weather report.